gang. It's Reverend Alston, and I'm here doing a children's moment. This is my cat. And when we got him about three years ago, he was this big, and he weighed one pound. He was about a ninth of the size that he is today. And when we got him, we got to know him for a few days, three or four days, playing with him to see what we should name him because we wanted to get him a name that would fit. And so after we watched him, and he loved to jump on things. He's very playful. And so we named him Pounce. And that has been the perfect name for him. Names are important in the Bible, too. There was a guy in the Bible who was a twin. And when he was born, he was the second baby to be born. And when he came out, he was holding his older brother's heel. And so his parents named him Jacob, which means the grabber, because he was grabbing his brother's heel. Now, Jacob sort of lived into that name as he was growing up. He um, ended up taking his older brother's birthright when he was making stew one day and his brother was really hungry. And then, much later in life, when his daddy was getting ready to die, he pretended to be his older brother so he could steal the blessing. He was grabbing the blessing that he thought belonged to him. Well, after he stole his big brother's blessing, he had to leave the country so his big brother wouldn't beat him up and maybe even kill him. And he went far away and got married and had lots of children. And then he decided he needed to come home. So when he came home with all of his family, he stopped before he was going to meet up with his big brother again after all these years, and he didn't know how his big brother was going to react. And he went to sleep, and then somebody came up and he started wrestling with them. And he wrestled till dawn. And at the end of the, the wrestling match, the person he wrestled with said, what is your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. And the person, which we assume was either an angel or maybe even God himself, said, no, your name is no longer Jacob. It is now Israel, which means one who has striven with God and humans and has prevailed. And so Jacob had grown up and matured, and he, had, he needed a new name to, to talk of to talk about what he was then, what type of person. And he was a striver. And Israel, Jacob, who became Israel, is the father of the Israelite nation. All of those sons that he had had lots of children, and they became the Jewish people that we know today. So God changed Jacob's name to be more fitting, just like we wanted to find the perfect name for Pounce. And just like your parents wanted to find the perfect name for you. So just remember, names are important. God bless you. Bye-bye.